Hello everyone, welcome back. For those who are new here, I'm Umar, the founder of Crossfinner. On this channel, I share my learnings and insights on SEO. In this video, I'm going to share six free tools to find keywords for any SEO project you are working on. This is my first video that is not an actionable strategy or a tip. So I won't make it too long to give more value in less time. The first one is Keyword Cheater. This works perfect when it comes to finding and brainstorming keyword patterns and topics for programmatic SEO websites and directories. For example, you may enter can dogs eat and hit the sheet keywords button. It will start finding those keywords. You can select the language of your choice, only those that are available and set the location. If you click advanced options, it will let you select regional division and region subdivision as well. Well, where you can use this feature for local business keyword research. Lastly, there is a filter of positive and negative keywords. As their name suggests, you can filter the words you want to mention in your keywords in positive field and those that you don't want in your keywords, put them in negative field. If you want to save these keywords to download in a sheet form, it will ask you to subscribe. It has the cheapest subscription. But if you are on a budget, select all, copy and paste them manually. Second tool is Keyword.Engineer. You need to specify the source you want to use, the search term, the options out of three that are available, and obviously the location and language. Mine is always United States and English. I like to play around with the options. The first option that is A to Z, 0 to 9, and Xtrax mainly extend your search query from alphabet A through Z and from digits 0 to 9, just like we do in Google search. Now, for people also ask, as the name suggests, we'll extract the keywords, not questions, from people also a section from Google. This is based on my knowledge the developer of this tool didn't tell me. Knowledge is power. The third tool is Answer Socrates. Do you remember good old Answer the Public when it came, when it was free as well? <laughs> So it works pretty much the same. It will select the location based on where you are based or from which location you are accessing this tool. You can change it using the drop down and then select the language. But be very strategic about what you put in the topic. Let's say if I add SEO as a generic term, I got the results like this. But if I change the search term to SEO services, the results are excellent, at least better than the previous one. Life is good, but it can be better. The fourth tool is Keywordit. Sounds familiar with Reddit, right? <laughs> because this tool lets you find the keywords using Reddit. All you have to do is enter the name of the subreddit and it will extract keywords from that subreddit. It is as easy as it sounds. But here is a caution. Since I hate sharing the strategies that don't work anymore, so I'm gonna tell you, I used to target the keywords where Quora and Reddit were ranking for my niche sites. But I am no more using these keywords based on the fact that Google has started to give more weight to these forums. It's great for getting keyword ideas, but it's no longer the reason that Reddit is ranking and you should write an article on it. The fifth tool is the Keyword Freak. The best part is that it gives you four different intent keywords as suggestions. Alphabetical, informational, transactional and commercial. If I'm right, this tool is extracting the data from Google's suggestion. Try this out and thank me later. The sixth tool is KeywordTool.io. The above tools that we discussed were mostly focused on SEO for Google, but this lets you find keywords for YouTube, eBay, Etsy and other search engines like Amazon. The only problem is that it's not completely free. You will have to subscribe to get insights on the data, so we can say it's premium. But the goal of this video was to get the keywords for free. You can check all those keywords but without the search volume. Here's what I got when I searched for link building in the YouTube search engine. This one is quite similar to Ahrefs free keyword generator. Look, I got another one along the way. Here's the bonus. Basically, this is not a tool. That's why I excluded it from the list. This is a keyword merger by TopTel. One of the best use cases I have found to use this tool is local SEO keywords. You got to know your variables, that is the location you are targeting and the services. Put them in the tool and it will draw you all possible combinations. It seems very easy when you are serving only one area, but it's not the same when you are serving multiple areas and providing a range of services. Well, this tool is the manual version of what higher visibility has built for local SEO keyword research. That's it for today's video. If you like this so far, check out my video where I have shared how I find keywords for any SEO project that I'm working on. The link is in the description. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any video of this channel. Thank you.